Hello friends and welcome back. As we reviewed in the last video that uh, we will move on from macroscopic to microscopic details as it relates to the nervous system. So uh, it will require some discipline and you may have to pay attention. Okay. So the nervous system will go from macro to micro. We reviewed in the previous video the central nervous system, peripheral nervous system and how the autonomic nerves kicks in uh, during the sympathetic and or parasympathetic situation. So we were referring to the tiny micro units, the neurons when it comes to the nervous system. So we'll get into those neurons and we'll take a look at what the process within the neuron and all that. So the neurons are the basic functional units of the nervous system and they generate electrical signals called action potentials which allow them to quickly transmit info over long distances. It's a microstructure, individual nerve cell and based on their roles uh, found in the human nervous system they can be divided into three categories. So, the neuron micro unit, you can have a sensory neurons, motor neurons, and interneurons. So remember, and we'll get into one of these uh, different categories here. Sensory neurons, they get the info from what's going on inside and outside the body and bring that info into the central nervous system. So it can be processed. For example, if you picked up a heart call, sensory neurons with endings in your fingertips would convey the info to your central nervous system that it was really hot. And we use the same example to connect the, uh, the different types of neurons. So that's what sensory neurons do. Motor neurons. They get info from other neurons and convey commands to your muscles, organs and glands. For instance, you picked up a heart call, it motor neurons innervating the muscles in your fingers would cause you, your hand to let it go, let go. And the interneurons, they are found only in central nervous system, connect one neuron to another. They receive info from other neurons, either sensory neurons or interneurons and transmit info to other neurons, either motor neurons or interneurons. So for instance, if you picked up a hot call, the signal from the sensory neurons in your fingertips would travel to interneurons in your spinal cord. Some of these interneurons would signal to the motor neurons controlling your finger muscles causing you to let go while others would transmit the, the signal of the spinal cord to neurons in the brain where it would be perceived as pain. So what are we talking here? So there are three types of neurons basically see, long story short what they do is if I touch a hot call the fingertips would sense it from that, that point to the hands, to the spinal cord, to the brain. These three work together as a team to recognize and register the pain that it is hot. And it, this is just one example, but you can have in our routine, there could be a simple or complex reflex and this are the three types of neurons, they work together to uh, communicate and take the required uh, notifications to and from both ways. So we can summarize now that what are the functions of these tiny neurons, they receive the signals or the info, they enter integrate incoming signals to determine whether or not the info should be passed along, communicate signals to the target cells or other neurons or muscles or the glands and the impulses are passed along the parts of the nerve cell in the dendrite manner and direction, in a definite manner and direction. Dendrite is something that will come so uh, just bear with me. 
So now we are getting into the, the process or the flow within the neuron. So it can go from a stimulus uh, starting from dendrites, it can get through the cell body uh, that contains the cell nucleus. <coughs> Then extending that cell body is the axon that carries the impulse away from the cell body and then you have a myelin set. If you have the myelin set then it is a white matter. If you don't have the myelin set then it is a grey matter. And underwriters would notice when they read the medical records uh, they do frequently encounter white matter and grey matter. So because the myelin set gives the white appearance that's why you see the white matter and when you don't have the myelin set it would be uh, gray matter. Then there is another term called neurilemma that's the membrane set outside the myelin set on the nerve cells of the peripheral nerve. So basically it covers the myelin set. And then the process continues you have the terminal end fibers. Uh, synapse is a, a unique medical fancy name for the space um, and that space requires neurotransmitter to communicate and the entire video so far one may feel it's going over my head but it's it's summarized here we have been talking about from dendrites how the process continues right the nerve impulse these are all parts of the neuron. Action we talked about. So the process continues and this is all that happens within a neuron. Yet another view of the parts of the neuron. So you have the cell body, the axon, the myelin set, the impulse direction, right all that happens starting from the dendrites so this is just to give an overview of the the neuron how it works we'll continue to move on when we meet again and we'll see what else is happening in our nervous system take care bye bye